A few days ago, MTA released its 2025 to 2029 capital plan. It's a $68.4 billion budget. The plan provided some exciting and interesting updates on New York's transit system. In today's video, I will break down the information provided in this capital plan and see what we can expect from the MTA in the upcoming five years, if this plan is approved. For the sake of time, I may not be able to cover every detail. Instead, I will focus on the major updates. You can read the full document that they released in the description down below. The first thing the MTA proposed is to purchase new fleets to the subway, Long Island Railroad, and Metro North Railroad to retire older ones. This includes ones to replace the R62 and R62As in the A division, aka the number lines, and 355 for the B division, aka the letter lines, to replace the R68 and R68As. The document did not give too many details on these new trains. From the information I know, it should be named the R262 and R268. Both of these fleets will be equipped with CBTC and should have similar modern features that the R211s had. The only thing I want to add at this point is that I want the entire order to feature open gaming design instead of a separate order to test it. Besides the subway, Aladabar will purchase new M9A EMUs, dual board passenger locomotives, bi level passenger coaches, and work locomotives. National Railroad will also purchase M9 EMUs to replace M3s, as well as new locomotives for service west of Hudson and coaches. Total budget for these new fleets is $10.9 billion. I'm really excited about these new fleets and can't wait until they enter service. Besides new trains, the MTA also decided to continue the installation of CBTC across the network. In the next five years, CBTC is supposed to be installed on the Broadway line, aka the NQRW, Liberty Avenue line, aka the A, Rockway line, aka the A and Rockway Park Shuttle, and NASA Street line, aka the J and C. Previously, MTA installed CBTC on the Flushing line, aka the 7, and the Carnassi line, aka the L. It was proved to be useful in running more frequent and reliable service. Lately, it has been expanded to the Queens Boulevard line, aka the EFMR, Cover line, aka the F in Brooklyn, Crosstown line, aka the G, and 8th Avenue line, aka the ACE in Manhattan. It's great to see that the MTA is continuing to expand the CVTC signals across the system. So I wish they did it faster so the entire system could all have a more than I signal system. The budget proposed is $5.4 billion. Next, the MTA proposed a $1.7 billion budget to rebuild the Grand Central Artery, a four mile stretch that includes the Grand Central Terminal itself, the Park Avenue Tunnel, and the Park Avenue Viaduct. The structure has a century long history and is in very bad condition. The renovation will be a major upgrade to the Grand Central Artery making it ready to serve Metro passengers for many years to come. A $2.75 billion budget was proposed for the Interval Express to complete the environmental review, design, and preliminary engineering for the project and begin construction. IBX is a proposed light rail between Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and Jackson Heights, Queens that will be using the Eldabar Bay Ridge branch right away. The project is moving forward faster than I can expect and is pretty exciting for me. Besides the one mentioned above, the MTA also proposed $7.1 billion to make at least 60 more subway stations and 6 rail stations ADA accessible, $1.1 billion to replace fare gates and more than 150 subway stations, $2 billion to upgrade maintenance facilities, $4 billion to renew power systems, $9 billion to repair critical structures, 1.4 billion to purchase 500 zero emission buses, 700 million for flood protection of the subway, and 800 million for flood protection of the National Railroad Hudson Line. To conclude, the MTA has proposed some pretty exciting upgrades to the system that we could expect. That is, if the funding is secured. Some of these upgrades may not be visible to normal passengers, but are important for better service. Though all of this is great, 
I really wish that the capital plan could include some subway extension projects, such as Queenslink or storyline extension to LaGuardia Airport, North Strand Avenue line extension, Utica Avenue subway, Seven Train Northeastern Queens extension, Santa Island subway, and the list goes on. I can't expect MTA to build all of them at once. I really hope that at least one of them can make it on the capital plan each time. But at this point, sadly, there seems to be no political will for them to happen. What are your thoughts on the MTA's new capital plan? Share with me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.